Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here today to do a show and tell video. And after this video, I probably will also record another video with me showing you the quilt that has the wool batting in it. So first up, let's do the show and tell video of some works in progress that I have completed. First up is my spider web quilt. I showed you all this in a series and I wanted to come back and just show you that the binding is completed, the quilting has been completed, and I'm not sure exactly what I showed you in the last video when it was a work in progress, but just following up that the spider web quilt is completed and this was cut with the AccuQuilt go dye and I'll try to remember to leave a link down below or at least the item number and you can click on my AccuQuilt link in the description box below. This quilt here I actually finished. It was donated to me as a quilt top and the lady that owned it or made it did not like it so she asked me if I wanted it. Of course I did. I love crumb quilts and so I actually quilted it uh, on my longhorn machine and the forecast said it was going to be cloudy but no rain and I'm now getting raindrops so <laughs> we all have to speed this up but I just wanted to show you this quilt top and that it is completed by me this next quilt is a customer's quilt and the fabric is called Serengeti Reflection and it's a fabric made by Henry Glass and I think the designer name is B. Sturgis but I just pieced this quilt top for a customer on the back it actually has Cuddle Minky and I just went around the animals uh, be with variegated thread the customer did not want heavy quilting and wanted me to use variegated thread so I just outlined the animals and then also in the blocks I went into the animal faces just a little bit so you can maybe not see it but you can see some of the thread there especially under the left nostril you can kind of see a little bit of it but that's what I did and let me just show you the back of this quilt as well so you can see some of the minky so now I have the back of the quilt showing and I'm going to zoom in just so you can see the quilting it's really pretty all right so we're gonna move on because we're getting raindrops here <laughs> all right guys this is an antique quilt that was made in the late 1800s to early 1900s I did have this quilt appraised I actually purchased this quilt a while ago when I was working we had a silent auction and I actually bid $50 for this quilt and I made it the one reason I bought it was because it was a double T block which is for Tijuana of course and then also because of the orange fabric that cheddar fabric I had read in some history books that they used this antique orange to help brighten up the darkened rooms in the log cabins so that's why I anticipated that this would be an antique quilt I am now actually standing in the rain videotaping for you guys <laughs> uh, but I wanted to get this last one in and I'm gonna move this tripod back I can't get it to go out any further than that but this is the sew along the Christmas sew along that I had with the tea quilters on my Facebook group tea quilt sew along and 
the pattern and directions are no longer available to new people entering and I just wanted to let you all know what it was that we worked on we also had a second project that I did not work on I may end up doing it in 2020 but it may not be in Christmas fabrics and even in the group you had the choice of not using Christmas fabric and I'm trying to cover up my tripod from the rain so if you see a quilt that's why you see it <laughs> that's flopping in front of the camera but um, yes I'm calling this C is for Christmas so guys that concludes my show and tell video it is now raining so I probably will not be recording me actually measuring the wool quilt you'll just have to take my word for it and I will show you the quilt before I wash it and then I will show you the quilt after I wash it and just give you the measurements because this quilt is very wet and my camera is now getting wet so I'll see you all next time thank you so much for watching please refer my channel to your quilting friends ask them to subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted when I upload new videos and when I go live see you all next time bye bye everybody Thank you.